This is a little snack for the chicks. I already fed them today. But they'll come out here running and not come over there. What's up? So, a big reason why I don't like this area and why we're moving to the Philippines is I'm tired of the desert. It's just behind my house. I could just move back to Texas and not be in the desert anymore. But, you know, the Philippines is like the jungle. I mean, I've been to Asia before. It's not the same. I've been to Hong Kong and Shenzhen, I believe it was called. I've been to Argentina. Uh, Argentina is just kind of like uh, more cleaner Mexico without trying to sound horrible. <laughs> uh, let me see here. No, uh, I know I just, I like to travel. We all like to travel. Me and my wife's always wanted to do like a Southeast Asia thing. Uh, and now we've done a lot of things. We've worked in the oil field for a while. My wife worked in the oil field. She worked, she was fracking. Uh, it's on to the next adventure, really. I know people say, uh, you don't have to go fishing because the fish is cheap over there, but I like fishing. I'm not ever any good at it, but, uh, it's still cool might just to maybe catch a fish but also the price of everything is getting nuts you know i have to work 12 hours a day making a good salary i would think usually used to be a good salary but just to barely make it anymore and i don't want to go back to college just to make just to try to make more money you know and uh, so it'll be a kind of a step back. It'll be a good step back just to be able to like watch my kids grow up, you know, and not be gone all the time. Because a lot of times I work at least half days on Saturdays. And uh, I was thinking this morning actually about how you're supposed to have a relationship with God, you know, and how hard that is to understand sometimes. But it's that's real hard if you don't even have a great relationship with your kids you know because you're working all the time like you're doing it for them but then you're missing out on them and they're missing out on you so and my kid loves fishing whenever we go to fish in texas anyway we actually catch a good amount of catfish and stuff he loves it i let him reel it in he cooks it you know i'll cut it up but you know i hope we go you know, it's just as much of an adventure for them as it is for us. So we'll be able to explore together. And I want them to have a diversified mind, a view of other countries. You know, how everybody else lives. Because everybody else just lives in on the internet. And just assume that they know what's going on or how bad America is. You know, I've been in Mexico a lot. I've spent weeks in Mexico all the time. move there but uh yeah if you have any questions just comment down i was gonna ask another question I forgot what it was uh we're almost to a thousand in just a few days like three days almost to a thousand subscribers and that's one of the things that you have to do to be monetized you know you know i want to do a lot of have a lot of adventures there Hopefully turn that into some revenue at the same time. So if I get revenue from it, I'm going to want to do it even more. So yeah, subscribe and share this video. I watch my other videos. And uh, we'll have one more. It says family of five. There's only four of us sitting there, but my wife's eight months pregnant right now. So yeah, go watch the video. Tell me what you think. Uh, um, I might have a subscription to where people can subscribe for like two bucks a month or something uh to have like you know 
I don't want to ask people for their money, but you know, if I could pay somebody or if I could donate $2 a month for somebody to live out their dreams to help them do that, I would do it. I do do it. And uh, I have a couple of guys I know from high school that, you know, they play games online and I, I do that for them. But I'm not like a saint because I donate $5. You know, I, I hope that they get to that dream of not working anymore. So, peace out, guys. Thank you.